K-State Online is here with Logan Landers, the new 2021 commit for Kansas State, uh, the first commitment of the class. And first, Logan, uh, thank you for coming on with me, obviously. And just take me through the recruitment process before we get into the commitment. What was it like? You know, you, you were 2021 way back when you reclassified to 2022 in August, and then you flip back to 2021 and now joining the K-State class. So uh, take me through that, that process for you. All right. So um, K-State kind of came in later with the offers, and me and Coach Lowry started to be, like, tie in a really good bond with each other and him and I were talking a lot um you know when they offered you know my dad even said it that K-State has always been a school that caught my eye because of the family atmosphere the type of city the type of fans just the whole thing there and that's something that I always was drawn to no matter what the school was or anything and Coach Lowry and I kept tabs you know for a while and then I started to play where we actually got to play a little bit you know, he still kept, he was keeping tabs. So I was like, oh, they really do like me. They see me playing everything. Um, and, you know, they pursued very hard. They did everything right. You know, they did everything in the recruiting process that I had asked for and wished for. Um, with the whole uh, reclassing thing, the reason I reclassed at 22 is because I want, I didn't want, I didn't want anything to happen like with COVID where like say something happened where I didn't get to play at all and no coaches got to see me. I wanted to reclass, so I had that chance to develop and have them see me so that they honor the scholarship and everything. So by me reclassing, that gives me that little, you know, gap of not having to worry about that. But since I did get to play, they liked what they saw, and I got to have the chance to see, like, virtually what the campus looks like and everything. Beautiful campus. You know, it's, I can't remember where exactly, but it's, like, number one, like, happiest campus in the nation. Um, so who wouldn't want to put themselves in an atmosphere like that? Also with a legendary coach, an amazing upbringing of a team that they have already. It's just, there's no losing this that I, I just had to, you know, get on it when I had the chance. When did the conversations with K-State and Coach Lowry specifically really start to heat up? Um, I'd say about like after my last tournament for AAU, you know, me and him were talking a lot. Coach Weber and I, we, you know, we started to build a bit more of a relationship. Him and I were calling a lot. You know, I got to meet everyone on the coaching staff. And this was probably about a, two months ago, I'd say, that it really started, like, our relationship really started to shift into he's not just, like, recruiting me because he really wants me. He's recruiting me because he likes me as a person. Coach Weber, he likes me as a person. He He sees valuable assets that I could bring to the team. And I'd say that started about two months ago where I could really notice that they, you know, they were pursuing me very hard. And I, that, that was something that was really cool to me. Sorry, that was muted there. There we go. I got excitement. you. <laughs> what was the excitement level like, you know, when you finally decided I'm going to commit to the Wildcats? Oh, I was off the chains. I mean, it was something in the works for a while. You know, they, I just, my dad, my dad and I are extremely close and we were talking about it every day. And him and I finally decided, you know, I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, he saw no losing it. I don't see any losing it. And when I called Coach Weber and I told him, hey, I can't wait to be a Wildcat, you know, I was shaking. I was off the wall. I was like, this is so exciting. I finally get to do this. I'm living out a dream that I had no idea would ever happen. You know, I'll, you know, we work for it, but until it happens, you're like, you don't know if it's going to happen finally happened called my mom told my sister told my uncle I mean I, I just want and I wanted to get it out there too I got it out there on Friday I wanted to get it out there the day after but I wasn't able to so I had to keep my mouth sealed for a little bit you know once I got it out there I was talking to everyone you know it's it's unreal it's something that I haven't fathomed yet and I signed on the 11th which I'm still you know that's exciting so mm -hmm. this whole process has just been insane and Coach Lowry, Coach Weber, Coach Southwell, they've all done everything perfect for me. So what does, uh, what does K-State look for you as a player on the floor? What do they tell you that they'd like to have you play? And um, what does your style of play look like at the high school level? And how do you hope to transition that to the college game? Well, in my high school style, um, you know, I just transferred to a new high school. I'm at Cedarburg High School. That's where I, I live, right by that high school. Um, they're 
that the coach he's a new coach there he's been there for about two years now outstanding coach great coach knows how to use his players and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to play a four kind of a three where I'm going to bane around down low obviously I'm also going to be able to step out and shoot the three which he's going to want me to do and I'm going to handle the ball more too in high school whereas in college I'm from what I've gathered K-State's going to have me be a down low player and hit the th- hit, be able to hit a three, able to hit jump shots, dribbling. Um, I'm going to be able to, but they're going to have dudes that are elite guards that, that that's going to be them. You know, I'm going to do, I, you know, what I want to do is I want to go in. I want to do all the stuff that a lot of people don't like to do. I want to go in. I want to get rebounds, you know, do the dirty stuff that a lot of people don't like to do. That'll make me a better player and a better teammate to help us win games. Absolutely. So, what is what is the recruitment process been like outside of you know K State? Obviously, they caught your eye. What other teams and schools you know were up there on your list? You obviously had a, a bunch of other really good offers like Kansas, Miami, USC, other teams uh, in the mix for you. And how difficult was the process during this COVID time as well? Oh, it was insane. I mean, this is something that you know a lot of people, a lot of guys don't you know. Other than right now, nobody else has really experienced it to this degree. I mean, like you said, USC, Kansas, Texas A and M, Miami, Houston were really schools that were pushing and were really good schools that I I did. I had really good connections with. I enjoyed what they had, um, you know. But at the end of the day, going to bed, I was like, in my heart, it was K State. You know, and it's, I'm not, I need to follow what I want to do in my heart. I'm not going to, you know, just because these name schools or this, that, and the other has been recruiting me. It's like, that's awesome. But mm-hmm. K-State's an elite top level school and they're in my heart. So that's the school that I want to be at and win at. Absolutely. And how important was it to, you know, be able to, you know, I mean, I guess what about K-State really stood out to be the school that you knew that this is where you wanted to end up? Well, when Coach Lowry had offered and then Coach Weber a couple weeks later or a week later talked to me and then them keeping tabs, not just like once a week, you know, here and there, they were keeping tabs a lot, a lot amount. And they were talking to me a lot. And then they started to bring me in on the Zoom. I met everyone you get the sense of a real tight bond with the coaches and the players. You don't find that at a lot of, at every school, you know, some schools, the coaches will talk to the guys at practice. You don't hear from them till the next day at practice. These coaches, from what I've gathered, they, you know, they talk to you at practice, after practice, before practice, they make sure you're right mentally. They get everything prepared for you. So you can be the best athlete on the court, but they take care of the stuff off the court too that for me was huge. You know, that for me was one of the driving points on why I wanted to be a Wildcat. And, you know, I haven't looked back on it since, you know, I love my decision. I love everything that they have. And then how important is it, you know, to, that they want you, you know, as that 2021, because I'm sure some schools saw you reclass and were like, Oh, I wouldn't, we can, you know, take Logan Landers now, but obviously K state was, you know, steadfast in wanting you in that 21 class. See, and that was really big, too, because a lot of schools, after they had seen that, they were like, oh, well, then we'll wait a little bit. We'll take you in 22. Whereas K-State, they were all for me being in 21. They would, they were fine with 22, but they were all for 21, which, you know, that kind of hit. I was like, you know, these guys want me. They see that they can develop me, and that's something that I still want to pass up on. I want to get out there. I want to start it. I want to get after the grind that it's going to be mm-hmm. for college. So. I mean, that was really big for me that I really enjoyed. And, you know, it was a good feeling for me. Uh, obviously, you, you know, you know, you know, you're going to K-State. They're known for, you know, developing guys and their strength and conditioning coach. Really, really good at what he does. Uh, are you excited to get in there and be able to, you know, you know, bulk up even more and, and get oh, an yeah. even better frame? And, and what do you hope to improve on, you know, on, on the floor as well? The, the weight training, I'm pumped for. I mean, you yeah. know, the Big 12 guys in general, but, you know, the K-State boys, they, you know, I, you can, like, I saw some of the highlights of guys in high school on the team, and I see them now, and they're just, you know, they're fit, they're jacked, mm-hmm. not guys you want to mess with, really. So, I mean, that's <laughs> exciting for me coming in there, because, you know, every dude likes having that demeanor of being a big guy, and for me to go in there into that program and be able to know that I'm going to be on a good program and get 
really, really good at what I'm going to be able to do is really exciting for me. And, you know, on the court stuff, the thing that I want to develop the most is like that ruthless mindset of grabbing every single rebound I can when I get it in the post, being an absolute bully in the post. Cause um, you know, I, I, I had always been a tall person, but I never was like extremely tall. I was always just the tall guy. And my dad had always worked on shooting with me and shooting and shooting. So that's something that I've always worked on on this upbringing, but developing a dominant post game for me is going to be huge because to be able to hit a three and then also have that, you know, Oh crap, this guy's going to post up too. is going to be huge for me, which I K-State will be able to bring out in me to the fullest. Absolutely. So, yeah, you're signing in November, uh, but you won't be able to get on campus, obviously, probably until you enroll next summer. Yeah, how's that all look for Yeah. That? So, right now, I, from what I've been told, there's, like, a dead period till January, and then, like, yeah. they have to, like, reevaluate, whatever. Um, you know, I it it sucks, but it's, like, it's what it is. You can't do anything about it. You know, there's a lot worse off stuff, so I'm very humble and excited about the stuff that I have as soon as I can get there on campus and stuff, meet the guys and, you know, meet coaches face to face in person, you know, I'll be there in you know, a snap. I can't wait to get there. It's going to be sometime, like you said, next year. I'm not sure when yet, but I mean, no matter when it is, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be excited to get to work. So. Have you, as any uh, K-State, you know, members of the roster right now reached out to you? Have you talked to any of them or built any relationships there yet? Yeah, um, Siri on the team. I, I've uh, I've talked to him a lot. I, you know, me and him keep in contact. I actually hit him up um, when I was trying to find my edit, and then I called him a little bit before. It's like, hey, how is everything? How do you like it? Um, so him and I, you know, I and I he played on Mac Irving Fire's AAU team, and I played on that team a little while ago. That's how I started. You know, that's how I knew him from a while ago. And then he went to. I saw he went to K State, and I hit him up. He was like, dude. It's everything you want, you know, it's, it's all the stuff that you want to hear as a college guy. And then I had FaceTimed him. We probably talked about a half hour to 45 minutes. And I said, give me the rundown and give me the straight rundown, not just the, Hey, we want you to come here rundown, you know, that type mm-hmm. of stuff. And, you know, college is going to be a grind no matter where you go, if you're playing D one sports or if you're not in general. So, I mean, the guys are there for you. You got great teammates. You got a great coaching staff nothing I could I couldn't pass that up and you know also some after I you know tweeted out posted you like you know I'm committed to K-State you know there was about four or five dudes that reposted it commented you know all that type of stuff and that was really big for me you know that they already were doing that stuff which was you know that was cool to see absolutely so last few questions uh I, we're, Rivals has you listed as 6'9 215 is, is it different is it changed from that since you know Rivals updated your profile i'm about i i i'm gonna have to measure but it's either it's about six nine six ten and i'm about 220 225 pretty much 220 because i had i had a while ago i had during quarantine i had bulked up a lot and then i kind of died it down more as the season you know as we started to play more so i was more agile and loose so you know right now i'm about six nine six ten and i'm 220 215 you know, that's a lot of light but <laughs> i'm getting there um uh, the big thing for me right now is like trying to just maintain like a good conditioning type thing. Cause we're going to roll into the season where we're going to have a, like a week of practice and then we hit and we go. So, you know, keeping my legs strong and steady, that's going to prepare me big. Cause you know, it's going to be a tight schedule where we're playing a lot. So, I mean, I got to stay fit. <laughs> Absolutely. And when does your high school season take off? So we actually, it's not, it's, um, we have lifting, we have conditioning, and then we have like open gym and that starts today. So it's basically like, if you want to play, you got to be there. So it's pretty much mandatory stuff, but our like, that's this week. And then we have like mand like legit man- mandatory stuff next week where it's contact days. Mm-hmm. And then we have, um, a week of just lifting condition and then practices start and we get rolling and that next week, Monday, I don't know the exact date. We have our first, um, first game at our house. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We have a very, you know, we should have a very talented team here. So going to finish, try to finish out a strong note here for my high school career. And now, yeah. So how's Wisconsin? I, I do want to ask, I, you know, I grew up in the North, so I know it can get cold up there. Has it been, has it been really bad yet? <laughs> 
I mean, like two days ago, it like flurries and snow was coming down. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me already. And I was like, <laughs> all right, here we go. Cause I, um, I help my dad sometimes with plowing and shoveling and all. I always get the crap job. I always have to go out <laughs> and shovel while he gets to sit in the car. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it started to snow a little bit. It's been in the thirties. So, I mean, nothing new though. I mean, you kind of get, you, you get used to it. Nobody really gets used to winter. It always sucks no matter what, but I mean, you know, it's all right. You know, cold weather, you kind of, um, I, I get excited because, you know, you wake up and it's like middle of December, or whatever you wake up, it's cold out, go to practice, you know, kind of have that excited mm-hmm. feeling. So, I mean, yeah. it is what it is. And now, and now you get to, you know, take a lot of classes at home. I mean, is that a high schooler's dream right there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's, you know, everyone's different. Some of my buddies are like, no, I want to be in school. I love it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm fine with online schools because, you know, you're going to have to do that in college. So it's kind of like to a point. So you're just preparing even more. Um, mm-hmm. It's the same thing, but you're just at home. Kind of, you can just relax a little more, have more time to yourself, really. So, I mean, I like it. I like doing my online because if I have a class where I have a free, I can go work out, I can go dribble, I can go weight lift, do stuff like that. So it's easy for me. Absolutely. K-State's new commit, 2021 commit, uh, the, the, you know, the skilled big man out of Wisconsin. So really appreciate your time, Logan. Really excited for you and uh, hope to keep in touch, you know, throughout your career. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you reaching out. I can't wait to get there, and I'm pumped to be a Wildcat. Go Cats, right? Yes, sir.